Hey guys, welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Just thought I'd share a little of my outdoor space. And also what I've been up to with making jewelry. Some of this y'all have seen before, some of it not because I've just recently made it. These are some of the earrings that I had pulled. I only had a few of certain beads, so I made earrings out of them. This, these are an odd shape, and they got like chocolate and caramel colors running through it. Um, these are like a cat's eye. Uh, kind of and then has a stone in between these are just like poison a and these look like candy and then, uh, red with gold wash and these are just like splatter painted black with gold splatter and these two and they're a little bit different but that's okay. But that's just earrings. They're not in a set. And then these are some of the ones I've made that y'all that I've had on before. That's the necklace, bracelet, and earring set. This is a CC twist, mostly recycled beads. This is the kind of a bead soup type set it is leftover Murano glass necklace earrings and bracelet and this is some more glass glass work beads and this is my piece that was inspired by the painting starry night and more recently I made this which is the owls are new beads sent to me by my friend Lynn B and the leaves twisted uh, glass leaves are from Cindy Jewelry Nurse a necklace she sent me about the time she coined the term CC twist this I call the flavor the colors of coffee and it is Mostly recycled beads. There's a few new ones, but that's mostly recycled beads. This is all recycled beads in the different colors. And it's plastic and metal. Um, but it's still pretty. And this is recycled beads. And it's plastic and metal, but... Well, I think these two here are ceramic. I don't think there's any glass ones on there. And this was the first piece I made after my granddaughter was born. So I've named it uh, Audrey's Ride because of the seahorse on it. It was the first piece I made after her birth. And then the, it's uh, recycled except for the pendant. The pendant's in there. Everything else is recycled uh, except for the findings and chain. Um, this is all recycled bracelet earrings and necklace and then these are recycled off like these are off one necklace the the black rounds here that's got that opalescent in it um they're off of a bracelet these are actually stones that i got off of a bracelet or something So I like that one too because it's real, it's just black and grays. It'd be good with, you know, white or black or even on red. Actually on anything you want to put it on. And um, then this is just a memory wire bracelet and earrings with those um, beads that look like little robin's eggs or something. So that is the stuff I have that I have made. I've got 
three different um, sets of beads pulled and in baskets to do um, projects with. I have a big tray full of uh, bead soup that I want to do some things with and I've got some ideas on some new designs floating around in my head that I've got to get caught up on everything before I can before I can get them out because it's going to take a lot of seed beads which I've got a lot of seed beads I just don't want to get them all out in amongst everything else um, I'll be having an, a piece with African opal soon I'll have be having a piece that has soda light on it soon and uh i've got a couple of pearl bead designs to do um i just you know i've got several things but this is what i've been up to and if there anybody sees anything they like give uh you can contact me because it is all for sale. Um, uh, individual necklaces usually run about ten dollars. Um, a necklace and bracelet um, is about um, eighteen dollars. A necklace and earrings is about seventeen dollars. And a full three-piece set is runs about twenty-five dollars, but I am willing to negotiate those prices. And the reason why I've been mo working mostly on recycled beads is because. I've got a lot of them. I did get all, most of my recycling done and they're hanging on the board and I will be doing a video soon about how I've got things organized. To this point, I just got some things that I've got to figure out where I'm going to store them. Not how, you know, how and where. Not that they're not already sorted and piled up together, but they're just not neatly stored. And I'll get there. I do have my two bulletin boards together that has recycled beads on them, though, so I can turn around and look and see what they do. And don't aren't those just the cutest owls? They're glass. Oh, I also have a hematite with some adventuring in a aqua, uh, like a teal green color maybe, and purple stones. Uh, I'm not sure what the purple stones are, just that they're uh, stone and they're a natural stone. Uh, I don't know if they're dyed or what. They're just, they're a deep, dark colored purple. So... But I've got I've got to get to that too. It's another tray I've got pulled in there. I hear my birds singing. That is a 24 hour a day thing. They don't even quiet down too much at night. And if they do get quiet, you hear the squirrels fussing at each other. Give y'all a quick couple of run passes the stuff so you can see. And I could throw those earrings together and make some more, but I not too many people are buying just single ear just the earrings they wanna bracelets or something
So anybody that has broken jewelry, don't throw it out. If you, you know, contact me, I'll take your broken stuff and uh, turn it into something pretty. These were some pretty blech looking beads until I put them together in a different way than they were. And I'm not even sure where I got these little ones here. I think they were in with some other stuff that I got from uh, my friend Laura. And uh, she sends me, but she sent me, has sent me lots of beads. She sent me all of those Marana glass. She sent me these glass stuff, beads here. These, I'll have to say, this is the first. And I guess the only piece that I've bought brand new, everything on it. I uh, brought those little bitty beads there. Um, the, yeah. Not the bicone, but the, the yellow and the yellow beads and the, yeah, these like those three, the light blue, the uh, blue and the yellow beads, they're all the same size. I bought them on clearance. I bought these glass beads here uh, on clearance. Went to get some more of these to make a necklace and they didn't have any and found this and said, well, that'll complement, you know, those will go together and went over and found these, which are Jasper. And come home and put it together. And I just absolutely adore it. But Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh is my favorite classical painting. Um, So y'all get a good look there. If it's anything you like, my email is in the about on my channel. I'll try to put it in the the description down below. Y'all have a great day. And I'll uh, have a happy Mother's Day. Happy day, no matter who you are. And may God bless and keep you and yours. Thank you. Good night. Goodbye.